On another front tonight, Bay District Schools accusing the Health Department of stealing student health records from schools. You may recall the two terminated their contract this year and the district contracted with PanCare. News 13's Kirsten Mitchell tells us why the district is now asking the state to launch an investigation. I want to believe that they didn't do it, but then if they didn't do it, then who did do it? Bay District Schools claims Health Department employees stole student records on their way out this summer after the two decided to not renew their contract this school year. We started looking around and figuring out how many schools does this happened to, where are they at, what's going on. Public records obtained by News 13 show about 12 schools were missing their student individualized health care plans. Typically kept in binders in health rooms, like at Petronas Elementary School, where they said a health department nurse came to pick up their computer and their records were gone too. Records like that, just it's not a magical act. Someone took them and I just believe that we need to have an investigation to find out who took those records. Husfeld says if it's true, it's unethical and illegal. Who has the authority or right to come in and get those records without permission from us? And we certainly didn't give anybody permission to come in and take student records. Emails back and forth between the district and Bay County Department of Health Administrator Doug Kent show Kent repeatedly denying the claim nurses took records. The health department said they too are requesting the Florida Inspector General's office to conduct an inquiry into the allegations, both hoping they can be located. These are records that belong to these students, that belong to, to the district. We're responsible for them, and where are they? In Panama City, Kirsten Mitchell, News 13. The district says they do have electronic copies of the records and PanCare is hard at work ensuring student records are accurate and up to date. Health services will be provided as usual as the investigation continues.